हेलो बच्चों लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन सेज दैट द फॉलोइंग एक्वा सॉल्यूशन इन द करेक्ट ऑर्डर ऑफ डिक्रीजिंग फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट एंड द ऑप्शंस आर 0.2 मोलर बीएसएल टू 0.2 मोलर केसेस 0.1 मोलर एनिटोसो फॉर ऑप्शन 2 0.2 मोलर केसेस 0.1 मोलर एनिटोसो फॉर 0.2 मोलर बीएसएल टू ऑप्शन 3 0.1 मोलर एनिटोसो फॉर 0.2 मोलर केसेस 0.2 मोलर बीएसएल टू एंड ऑप्शन फॉर 0.1 मोलर एनिटोसो फॉर 0.2 मोलर बीएसएल टू 0.2 मोलर केसेल What is the key concept here? Key concept here is the Van't-Hoff factor. Key concept here is the Van't-Hoff factor i. i is equal to number of moles after association or dissociation divided by initial number of moles. According to Raoult's law, according to Raoult's law, Raoult's law, delta T F is equal to I into K F into M. K F is constant for same solvent. Hence, delta T F varies as I into M. Higher the value of I into M, higher is the delta T F. Lower will be the freezing point. For BaCl two, I into M is equal to I value for BaCl two is three, and M value is given as zero point two. That is zero point six. For KCl I into M is equal to two into zero point two because KCl is associated as K plus and Cl minus, so that will be zero point four. And uh, for Na two SO four, for Na two SO four I into M is equal to three into zero point one, so that is zero point three. Here I into M value is Higher for or highest for BaCl2, so it will have lowest freezing point. Hence, correct sequence is in decreasing order of freezing point. 0.1 molar Na2SO4, then 0.2 molar KCl, then 0.2 molar BaCl2. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. I hope this will answer your question. Thank you.